At the weekend, the Prime Minister again attempted to stitch up a vote for her Brexit deal. At her grace and favour checkers home, she negotiated with a dozen white men who represent a minority of a minority of her own party. We can guess what she said to them. The massive London march for a people's vote and the record-breaking petition to revoke Article 50 show that the mood of the country has swung strongly against Brexit. Vote for her deal now or Brexit might be lost. They might also have to fight European elections, a terrifying prospect for the Tories, as just like a second referendum, it would provide a democratic opportunity for people to express their views and show their rejection of the Brexit project. The Tories are running scared of the will of the people. But we will not be silenced. Across our country, the resistance to Brexit is growing. We look to Parliament to send the decision back to us. Confident in the knowledge that we have the strongest pro-European movement in our continent and that the country will vote convincingly to stay in the EU.